I know it was new. Breaking it up. Okay, jeez. Ow. Oh. Look at that, he got my eye. Hey guys, story time while um, I take my vitamins real quick. <laughs> this happened two nights ago. It was like 11.15. I was laying in bed. I was, you know, watching my Christmas movie. Then I hear a knock at the door. And I'm like, that's, that's strange. No one knocks at my door. <laughs> so I'm like, hold on. Because I was like kind of taking a while. And I thought it was one of the girls from my pod. So I get out of bed. I look out the peephole. I am expecting to see a girl standing there. You know, like one of the girls from my pod. And there's two guys at my door. And I'm like, huh? At first I thought they were workers, then I was like, wait, no, those are not workers, those are students. So then I was like, oh gosh, I don't want to answer the door anymore, but they already heard me say, hold on. So I was like, okay, now I gotta, now I gotta say something. I opened the door, like, this much, I'm like, Loki hiding behind it. I'm like, hi, and they're like, is there a Catherine here? And I was like, no. <laughs> they were like, 
is there a Catherine anywhere in this pod? I was like, no. <laughs> like, it was just so random and so weird. I was like, Catherine, no. They were like, oh, sorry, have a good night. And I just closed the door. I was like, that is so weird. I was like, scared. <laughs> sorry. I feel like I said sorry weird. Like my mouth said, sorry. Sorry. Something weird just happened. I'm all paranoid. My roommate just left. Almost positive she closed the door with her fully. So I'm just chilling here on my phone. I hear like the door open. So I'm like, oh, roommate forgot something. So I turn around, the door's open, like this much. And I'm like, I swear she pulled that shut. She didn't lock it, but it was pulled shut. But it sounded like someone like opened it. And so I went and I looked out the door and there was no one in the hallway. That is weird. My door was haunted. Oh. Okay, I'm terrified. Okay, okay. Let's find another toy. This is turkey. Calm down. <laughs> Going fishing for a turkey. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, alright. Why is this happening? You were just being sweet. Hey, you found my fingers. You're a weirdo. What did my arm do to you? Okay, all right. I got beef with the guys upstairs. And here's why. They are so loud. Like, I'm pretty sure they're like gaming or something and they freaking like, they scream. They freaking pound on the floor. And like, at like 10 o'clock at night, I'm like, bro, like I'm not asleep right now and I'm not gonna go to sleep for like two more hours, but like still, what if I was? I'll show you guys how scary it is taking the garbage out. I'm going home this weekend because I know I went home last weekend, but like, it was Lisa's birthday, and she was like, Anna, I just. I really need you home. It wouldn't feel like my birthday without my little sister, my favorite sister ever. And I was like, you know what? I mean, I guess. I guess I could make an appearance for like maybe a day or something. So yeah, the only reason I'm going home is because Elise asked me and it's her birthday and I can't say no, so. Hey guys, I'm home because it's Elise's birthday. Hey, I'm my first. Hey, don't rush me. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> I'm scared, because they're not recording me, and now I feel like pressure. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh my god. It's amazing. <laughs> I have to wear that Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, you're supposed to wash my hair. Oh, sorry. I no I boyfriends. I'm a little scared. Oh, that's Snippy. <laughs> Coot. Oh, will this end well? Oh, gosh. All right, probably not. Yeah. Little poopy poopies.
Em Tokyo. Hey guys, I just had a really awkward encounter, kind of. I looked on the app, there's three washers available. So I went down there and I was like, I put my stuff into one and I was like, is this kind of full? Maybe I'll like take another one because there's three open. <laughs> so I had all my stuff in one and then like I put more of my detergent in the other one. As I like start grabbing my stuff, this guy comes down and then he was like gonna use the one that I had already put my stuff in. So I like grabbed my stuff, I was like, oh, sorry. And I like put it in there. And then, I don't know, I looked at his bag and he had way more stuff than I did. And I was like, ugh, I feel kind of bad. But you know what? Don't wait four weeks to do your laundry, buddy. I then forgot to press start on one of them. So then I had to, like, I walked away and I was like, oh, shoot, I didn't press start. So then I had to go back and he was probably like, what is wrong with this girl? and heavy and I don't know what to do because the pusher cart thingies are locked up. I don't know what to do. This would take me forever to move this. Hey guys, so <laughs> I wanted to update you based on the last clip that I filmed. <laughs> what happened, I, was, I asked my friend if she could help me she was studying, so I was like, okay, that's fine, you know, finals, finals week, you should be studying. I had to move it by myself. And so this pedestal came all the way, like, up to here on me. And so, and it was big, it was wide. So I had to carry this damn pedestal from the art building all the way to the building that I was setting it up in, which, it's not far, but, like, it was cold. It took me so long. And so either... I picked it up like this and I carried it or I was like turning it like that it felt like I was dancing with it there were so many people that passed okay not that many people but there were a lot of people that passed me and nobody helped me until I was almost at the building and then this guy passed me I made eye contact with him I was like please help me and you're like do you need help I was like yes <laughs> 
So then he helped me carry it into the building. And then once we were, why did my forehead look like that? So once we were in the building, then I was like, okay, thank you so much. Like I can take it from here. And then I just like pushed it. And then one of the girls from my class was in there. She was also setting up in the same spot. There were literally like eight people that's like installed their projects in the same building. Um, and then today, I have like bruises on like my arms right here. Like they hurt so bad. Like this one, you can kind of see the bruise right here a little bit. I was struggling. It took me so long and it was cold and I was dying. I was like, you know, is it even worth it at this point? Also, back to the pedestal moving. I also want to say that my forearms are sore today. So I don't know what that says about me. I'm leaving in three days. Hey guys. I'm leaving today for break, and it's been a bit of a rough start. I woke up at 7 because I have to work for my work study at 8 to 11.30. I woke up at 7, and it, like my alarm went off, and it was dark, and I was like, why is it dark outside? But then I like didn't eat before I left. I was like, it's fine. I would like just bring food, and then if, I'm, if I want to eat, I can eat. So... I go to work, and I'm, you know, I got my homework done, I just have to record the video, and then I, like, the vision in my right eye starts getting weird and all fuzzy, and I'm like, okay, I've had this before, I'm having an ocular migraine, and then my head starts hurting, but it's only on the freaking left side, so I was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and I went up to my room, and I grabbed some ibuprofen, and I took it. The ocular migraine lasted for an hour, and then... I only had like 30 minutes left of work and I was like really hungry because I didn't, I just was like, it's fine, I can just wait 30 more minutes, you know? So then at the end of work, I was, I started feeling like kind of nauseous and I was like, okay, it's fine, Anna, you're fine, you're just hungry, you have to wait 10 minutes, you can go eat. I like, at the very end of my shift, I like gag, so I'm like clocking out really fast and like, I gag again and then I like like out of there i'm like okay see you guys <laughs> like because i didn't want to be like rude but i wanted to, like i just all i could think about was like get to garbage get to garbage so i was like walking i was starting to leave work and then i was like do i think i can make it to the bathroom i can't make it to the bathroom so then i went in this room with this big old garbage can and i threw up but i don't think anyone heard me or maybe they just don't care but and now i've been laying in bed because i feel like poop i ate a little like fruit bar thingy and I started to feel better, and I started eating this protein bar, and then I started feeling bad again. And now I'm like, you know, like after you throw up and you get like super like shaky and cold, that's how I feel right now. But yeah, the freaking left side of my brain has a headache, because did you know? I learned this in anatomy last year. The left side of your brain controls the right side of your body, and the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body. You're welcome. And my dad and brother, I think, I heard Joe, are on the way to come get me. And I have stuff that I need to be doing right now. I have to, like, take out the trash and, like, clean out the fridge and, like, start packing up. Because I'm going to be home for seven weeks. But yeah, I haven't done any of that stuff because I, like, can't get out of bed right now. Like, I tried sitting up and I was like, okay, this isn't terrible. And I was like, I want to vlog. <laughs> this is a fun start to 